Hey everyone, this is Prince Brightstar, and it's time for a channel update. First up, and this caught me off guard, the channel has just passed 400 subscribers. Ever since I put out that video on the music of Fantasy Star Online 2, the channel has exploded with new subscribers when previously I had been bleeding them. This has given me an idea for what I can do for the future, and it's based on an old concept subscribers might remember from before I started doing Let's Plays. No hints though, I'm gonna leave it for a surprise. Second, some people are wondering what happened to Minecraft Story Mode, and I'll be frank, those videos just weren't getting that many views. However, since there has been some renewed interest in it, I've decided I will let that series run its course. I haven't decided when this is going to happen, but we'll see. Just to be clear, I never moved past Chapter 3, so I will still be blind when I do go through it. At this time, I want to reiterate my promise to you. My promise has always been to have at least one video delivered a week. A few months ago, I began pushing out two a week. However, this is more a result of me having time to do two a week. If my schedule were to ever get busy, I would fall back to my promise. I'm just letting you know one is my promise, two is my stretch goal, if I can make it work. Next, it's time to go over the result of the question I asked you last week. And with a large majority, you have asked me to put the story of Fantasy Star Online 2 on hold. As I revealed in my last video, since we're stopping the story, the Fantasy Star Let's Play will begin soon. I want to thank you for your participation in this, and based on some information revealed last night, it may have been for the best. Apparently, as soon as Episode 4 launches, all characters are going to be forced through a story sequence for Episode 4. Obviously, this doesn't bode well for the show, since it will take time for the translation team to get that translated. My plan at this time is to try to take a different character through it, skip through the scenes, eyes closed, and hopefully not lock my other characters out from seeing it. If all goes well, when we get to Episode 4, I will record my reaction to these scenes based on the Event Chronicle. In preparation of this event, I have recorded ahead to the end of Episode 3, Chapter 2, which is where the translation stops, just in case my main character is locked away until the translation can be completed for these scenes. If those scenes are translated before Episode 3, Chapter 3 is, I'll record my reaction then instead. That other character I mentioned a moment ago will be the one that we take a look at those new features with. Moving on, I also have the results of which music you wanted to hear the most from the Dark Falls Loser demonstration, and it was... the full versions of the music? Huh. Color me a little confused, but okay. Also, here's the result of which characters viewers wanted me to choose for the Ark's Battle Tournament, back in Episode 1, Chapter X. The majority of you didn't even make a choice. However, the majority of the rest of you decided to not go with anyone. And if you haven't had a chance to check out that path yet, I would suggest doing it now. Lastly, I wanted to announce a couple of more games we'll be taking a look at this year. As I've already stated, Mighty Number no. 9 is already on target to begin when it releases. It comes out in the early half of February, and I can't wait to check it out. In addition to this game, however, there's another game built on the spirit of games like Fantasy Star, Suikoden, and Chrono Trigger that we'll be checking out. That game is called Cosmic Star Heroine. Produced by Zeboid Games, they previously put out hits like Breath of Death 7 and Cthulhu Saves the World. This game follows the tale of Alyssa LaSalle, a top agent for the galactic government who stumbles across a dark conspiracy that could end her career. We don't have a release date on this one, but Zeboid has stated early 2016, so here's to hoping we hear something soon. You all give me the energy and drive I need to keep doing this. Thank you for your time, this is Prince Brightstar signing off, I'll catch you next time.